Welcome to the blog! Like, like, get some quesadillas and some nachos. nachos. Yeah, should we do that? That for me, yes, please. Amazing. Thank you very much. Look at this. I know, is that popcorn? Yeah. Ooh. That is a very hot dive. That is. That... No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can have some more, if you like. That's enough. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Thanks, Kim. Like, did we order enough, do you think? Burrito <laughs> bowl, the nachos, oh, jalapenos. Is that low calorie cheese on there, do you think? And some enchiladas. Right, where do we start? How was everything so far, guys? Really good. good.
Who's that thing in the tree? La. You gonna sing? No. Hello, and if you hadn't have guessed, we are at Centre Parks. Ooh. Dave's not 100% well, so it's not COVID. I've done four tests. He's, yeah, he's done four, four tests. Definitely, definitely not COVID, but it's just uh, a bit under rubber, so he may be slightly less energy today. But I'm sure that'll pick up. So the time now is 2.20. We can't get into the lodge until four, or maybe just before four. So we're just gonna get a bit of time, just enjoying it. Oh, it's, it's nice, it feels good to be back at Centre Parks. And we were last at Longleat in June, July, is it July? It's June. We were last at Longleat in June last year. So this is the first time vlogging our stay at Longleat. We are just now sat down, enjoying what is looking like some glorious weather. It's meant to be nice all weekend, so feeling very positive about that. And we're just perched by Foresters on the village square. The cocktails at Las Iguanas were delicious. So what is there to tell them about this trip? There's lots more kids. There are, there are we've already noticed there's a lot more kids this time than previous times that we've been to centre parks well, not that, I mean, partly I guess because we are here for a weekend rather than a Monday to Friday get used to that noise because that's probably going to happen quite a lot so this time for this stop we are not staying in a lodge we're not staying in a tree house either uh, but we're staying in an apartment and our apartment block is just behind that tree just over there yeah we just thought we'd give it a try it was a bit cheaper and we thought we would just see if we think it's worth it, see if we would recommend it and it's just another way of getting another break at Centre Park so that in itself is a winner. So it has felt like a long 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 time uh, since we last had a holiday which I know is ridiculous because you've seen the last time we went on holiday which was to Egypt back at the end of February beginning of March so it's been two months, two months and I know but some people are probably thinking they've not had holidays in two years or but it's felt like a long two months and we've been counting down this break for a long time not having any holidays or any time away in april was uh was a drag wasn't it yes we're very lucky yes we are very lucky so <laughs> How could we not get some treehouse footage? Nobody in it yet. Not in this one anyway, so. Have a little look, see? I'm still not sure about the um, location of them. They're not as far out as. Hiya! <laughs> They're not as far out as uh, Blooming Elden. Oh, yeah. The issue is more around like the bottom of the hill. Yes, anything at the bottom of the hill is a no-go for me. Yeah, that's 10,000 steps already. Seven, seven. Whew. So we are now just doing a walk up to the car park. We're not going to get our car, we're going to leave it because we've only brought, we managed to bring with us just two wheelie suitcases with all of the things we think we're going to need and want for our stay so obviously usually we have like 
plenty of bags for life and then they're all going to car nice and easy. But this time we said no, we'll just bring two wheelie bags or wheelie cases and then we can just drag them along. We couldn't be bothered, basically. Yeah. The whole rigmarole of getting the car, the rush, then having to take it back. And like Dave was saying, by leaving the cars, and then we can both have a drink at lunch today and start our holiday and not a drink, or we need to go and get the car in a bit as well. Yeah, it's very different though from the ones that I've seen at Alton and stuff. Like, yes. Like, yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's just not what I was yeah. expecting when I bought it in here. You're going outside then, yeah? Oh, who's that? I didn't even think about it. I just Fine by put me. that down. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Okay, so it's now about quarter to five. We've been in the lodge for an hour. I have actually just filmed a bit of a, I say lodge, apartment. Probably going to call it a lodge the whole time still. I have filmed a more detailed apartment tour, um, which I'm going to do as a separate video. And there's a very particular reason for that, and it's not just because I wanted more videos to bore you all with. But when we went to Egypt recently, I uploaded a video with a very mixed, kind of partly vlog, partly Dave and I just drinking alcohol, and a bit of like a hotel tour. and. It's ended up being like the most viewed video so far. So if you want to see a more detailed apartment tour, then do check over on that video. But otherwise, then just carry on with us uh, as we carry on our day here at Centre Parks. So, Dave sat over there looking at squirrels. We actually got into our apartment at quarter to four, just happened to try the door and it let us in. So we may have been able to get in even earlier, but that was fine. So we've managed to get in and have now unpacked a bit messy <laughs> i made it look a bit messy already but we'd managed to do all of that before i think cars had started coming through the car park and i'm sure there'll probably still people now sat there in the car park in traffic i don't mean to sound gloaty but yeah mm -hmm. so dave's gonna finish his coffee and i'm gonna ask him to maybe write our plan on the board use our uh, super fancy chalk pens I bought off Amazon. In fact, I can show you the chalk pens. We haven't we haven't used or tried them, so they could be absolutely crap. But how fun do these look? Dreams neon chalk markers. If they're rubbish, we have also brought <laughs> traditional chalk, which is just as good. But I thought I'd give them a try and see how they look. So. We've got our itinerary printed off. I'm gonna get that written up on the chalkboard, and then I think it might be time for us to take a little mooch down to the park market and see what what yeah, we're gonna buy. I'm hungry, actually. Are you? <laughs> yeah. No, I have walked thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-one steps today so far. It makes a change for. Yeah, me, me, me. yeah. Yes, I am Mr. Fit and Active. Right, so it's first time use, press the tip slightly to release the pressure, shake well before use, push the nib up and down until the tip fills with liquid. I already know you're going to be negative about this because it's not like, because it's something new and it's not just chalk. Because it's a pen in the arse. Oh yes, that's nice. <laughs> well, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Right. This is definitely going to come off this board, isn't it? Well, it's chalk. It doesn't look very chalky to me. Chalk markers. For use on any non-porous surface, glass mirrors, whiteboards, windows, vinyls, ceramics, chalk boards. Perfect for creating menus, signs and drawing pictures. Right, okay. Gosh, I sound like I'm on commission. <laughs> but we'll see how it turns out. However, if you like the look of these and you want to get some for yourself, we did buy them from Amazon. Um, I think they're only like, maybe, five. I think they're only maybe five or ten pounds. They weren't very expensive, I don't think. And I will put a link to them in the description if you want to go and check them out. I'm just standing over here awkwardly. We've got neighbours. I'm staying out of the way until he's got the chalk pens working. This could be a while. Oh 
Well, welcome back. So far, I've achieved nothing. Oh, that's a surprise. Do you want to start shaking some of these pens? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would love to. <laughs> like I'm milking some cows. So whilst they were a pain in the bum to get going, I think they come out nicely. Yeah, yeah. They were actually all right to use. It was easier than using the chore thing once I started doing it. So talk us through then. So today, we haven't got a today on because we haven't got anything else booked now. We're, as I said, we're going to go to the park market, get some food. We may go out for a little swim later as well. We'll see how we feel. See how we feel, see how fun we feel. Yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah, after today, tomorrow, we have got a spa session with tapas from 10.30 to 1.30. And I'm very excited about the spa here because it's really nice. So you can, you can book a three hour spa session as an activity for your centre parks booking and that's like 45, 50 quid, whatever. Um, I think the price varies slightly depending on where and when. And then you can also then choose to either book the spa session with afternoon tea, which is what we did at, which is what we did at Elvedon, or we noticed that now they're offering a tapas option as well. So I was like, hmm, that's our treat us and we'll have a little tapas. So that's, so we're looking forward to tomorrow, and that will serve yeah. as our lunch as well, hopefully. We might have to have a snack during the day as well. Yeah. yeah. But then, yeah, we've got nothing on, actually, in between um, that, and then we've got Rajinda Pradesh on at six o'clock, which Rajinda I'm very Pradesh. excited yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, we love a little Rajinda Pradesh. And then we've randomly got golf at quarter to eight on the night. Yeah, and we'll see, we'll see this tomorrow, because... So I was responsible for booking the activities and, and bits and pieces, and, you know, we're, we're in May now, and I want to make the most of the fact that it's light and it's better weather. So I thought, oh, well, we can do the adventure golf. I mean, it's adventure golf, not like proper full-on golf. But I thought, oh, we can do the adventure golf after dinner. We'll be down by the lake. We can just have a wander around. The golf isn't strenuous. and It'll be nice, and that'll be a nice way to kind of finish off the day. Dave really isn't sure about this and has made several comments already. So we'll see. I think tomorrow he's going to be eating his, his words and be saying, oh, that was a really good way to do it. I'm embracing it anyway, aren't I? God, it's turned into a right. Art oh, so alright. Neil Buchanan. Is it Neil Buchanan? Art but, Attack? Oh, uh, I can picture the man who you're on about, but I wouldn't know what his name was. I just thought I'd draw a picture of the dog. Yeah. If you want to get a print of that, you can. We're going to sell it. <laughs> oh, this is not where I um, excel. <sighs> right, so do you want to go and... Have a walk along to the shops? Yes. How much are we going to spend in the park market? £60. Pounds. 60 okay. I think we are going to spend 50 So let's see. Let's go find out. I don't know, that's not a bad picture of a dog there. <laughs> Beautiful. It is weird though, because like, you know, coming out there, walking out this way in this corridor, it's a bit hospital corridor. Yeah, there's a lot of cars parked along here, isn't there? Yeah. trying to do the oven. I literally have not got a clue what I'm doing. 
shopping haul for all the goodies we bought. So we've got cook chicken and mushroom lasagna. So that's uh, 55 minutes in the oven, we hope. Nice and easy. And we thought we'd have some a little cheeky side of garlic bread with it. And then for pudding, I saw these and I was like, it's essential. Cheesecake, baked lotus, Biscoff cheesecake. Yeah, so we've got one of those each. They're fairly good size. I'll try, I'll try to remember to show you. I might scoff it beforehand, but yeah, they are very yummy. So they can go in the fridge in a second. We've then also got some <laughs> pickled onion rings. Um, co-op diet lemonade obviously milk a, a bottle of wine we've had this jam shed before and it was quite nice and fairly reasonable price and then we've got a couple of croissants and a couple of pan chocolate and some warm through in the morning and that'll be our breakfast so all of that actually came to a lot less than we thought only spent 35 pounds and 85 for what I have just shown you. Yes, you could probably get that for maybe 25 quid or so from like Tesco's or whatever, but I don't think it's too bad. It's not, um, you know, we've got some snacks, we've got some nice bits. If our weekly shopping came to that every time, we'd have a problem, but there we go. So just an idea of, uh, and just an idea of the sorts of prices. Oh, and including that price was a bag for life because we love a little Centre Park's bag for life moment. So there we go, that was our little shopping haul. The oven is doing something, so we'll hopefully get some food in there soon. It takes about an hour for that to cook. In the meantime, we're gonna go and enjoy a little glass of wine on the balcony. I wish I put my slippers with me. Do you know what? You took the word right out of my mouth then. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Was it worth eight pounds? Maybe not. We it's are quite, it was quite expensive. But it cooked fine in the oven as well. So that was a big result. And now it's time for pudding. And I thought I would pick up the camera and show you before it gets on the plate. Because once it's on the plate, it's gone. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I don't think the camera's even really giving me a good sense of the size of it, but... Look at the size of that. And I'm going to scoff it all up. Mm -mm -mm. So, we did sit at the table to have our dinner, but... We're now lounging on the sofa with a lovely view of the bears. <laughs> mm. Delicious. It's awful, isn't it? Oh, awful. So we had said that we were maybe going to go swimming again this evening. Hasn't happened. Dave's already chilling on the bed um but yeah so that's it for tonight we've had a great first day here at center parks longleat and looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully we'll see you back for next time Oh, okay.